Bouncing Tic Tacs into a cup is hard, strangely hard. Sometimes Tic Tacs bounce higher on the second bounce than on the first. What? If you've ever bounced any round ball ever, you know that the first bounce is always higher than the second bounce. We have to follow the energy. The amount of energy we start out with when you drop a ball is our potential energy. And then as the ball falls, it loses its potential energy and gains kinetic energy. And energy is always conserved. So then why doesn't the ball come back up to the same height? Some energy went into heat when it hit the table. So you'll never get higher than the original height when you drop a ball. And same with the Tic Tac. But we are getting higher higher than a previous bounce. When the Tic Tac starts spinning, some of its energy goes into rotational kinetic energy, so it can't go as high. There it is. When it stops rotating by bouncing again, that rotational energy is available again to allow the Tic Tac to go higher. Mystery solved.